Good morning Colts, we are officially in May, the last month of school. This is Weston for Northside News. Today is Monday 1st. We've been talking about the Spark Beach event and so many kids still don't know about it. In case you miss, missed the information Friday, here's Lena with more specifics. Good morning Colts, this is Luna from Northside News. We've been hearing a lot about the Spar Beach event. Recently, we caught up with Mr. Watt to find out what the event really is. The Spar Beach event is our way to give an incentive event for students to do better on the new test that's coming out. That's the PM3 fast testing event. Mr. Watts explained to us that the event got its roots long ago with former students. We've had Spar Beaches all the way back to when Mr. Kelly was an AP here. And Spar Beach is basically, we bring the beach to Spar and we have fun games, fun filled food, activities, all kinds of fun stuff going on here at North Marion. The event is planned toward the end of school without a current set date. Right now it's the last week of school. We are looking at the last day of school, but it's definitely gonna be that last week. The administration and faculty wanted to give back to students who put forth the effort. Ah, the purpose of the event is for us to incentivize students doing well on the end of the year test. The benefits of the event sound amazing, friends and time out of class. Well, it's an opportunity for you to participate with your friends. Also, on the day of the Spar Beach event, you will be in lunch for three lunches. So you'll get to be in lunch A, B, and C lunch that day. This has been Luna, reporting for Northside News. Thanks for that, Luna. And thanks, Wendy, for grabbing that interview with Ms. Watts. I'm so excited for this reignited tradition. Christian, tell us what's going on this week with clubs. Thank you, Weston. It's Shiesty Boy Christian with Coke Clubs. Today, after school, there's National Honor Society in inductions at 6 o'clock. Wednesday, May 3rd, there's the best PM, 10th grade only. Yearbooks will be here this week. They go on sale for $85 at yearbookforever.com. Thursday, May 4th, there's the best PM, 9th grade only. And then Saturday, May 6th, there's a leadership trip to Bush Gardens. That's all, and take it back to Weston. Thanks for all your super hard work in reporting, Christian. Yesterday was a very nice but winning day. How are you looking this week, Noah? What's good, Colts? It's Hoodie Noah out here. You know, we outside. It's a beautiful Monday out today. Um, today's going to be a high of 83 and a low of 62. Um, you know, later this week, there's going to be a 19 miles per hour breeze coming through here, so y'all get be aware of that, but there's a 0% chance of rain. But uh, yeah, that's about that's all the weather today. Back over to Weston. Thanks, Noah. Coach, you should treasure all your high school memories, no matter how terrible they feel. Before you know it, you'll be looking at your yearbook, thinking about, about the good old days, which might not have been so great. So don't miss your chance to get your yearbook this year and purchase one now on yearbookforever.com or visit Ms. Costello's classroom. And speaking of the yearbooks, they're selling sodas and cup, cup noodles for a dollar a piece in building eight, room 28. They are delicious. You might have seen that I had one on Friday. Matthew, I've heard there are a lot of going on in sports recently. What's up? What's poppin' Northside? I'm Matthew with Sports. The baseball boys play Lake Weir here on Wednesday. Speaking of baseball, we had four baseball boys sign on Friday. Let's give them a big round of applause. May 19th is our football team spring game. Don't forget to get your tickets. All tickets to sports events are available to be accessed on GoFan.co. That's all for today. Back over to Weston. Thanks, Matthew. Let's go to Kelly, who has a special report from the JRTC. Good morning, Colts. This morning we have an interview with JROTC. So for JROTC, we are having a American flag collection bin and we are collecting these flags so we can have people retire them if needed and people in JROTC can get a ribbon for this when they retire them. So how long is this going on? This should start around next week and it will end at the last day of school. So the flyers are going to go to the JROTC classroom in building 24. There is a bin when you enter in where the ROTC snack bar is. It is on the left side under a small desk by the trash can. If you drop them off there, we'll be able to retire the flag and we'll be able to burn it and have a ceremonial tradition for the flag. The purpose of this is basically to retire the flags so they're not desecrated and so they're not being kept in the, because they're not being used anymore. So is this something new or has it been going on? This has been this is something new that we're introducing because most of the time Eagle Scouts will do this, but we're, it's something we're introducing this year as we haven't done it in the past. We want to give a big shout out to the Teacher of the Year, Colonel Keith Cunningham, and we want to give a big thank you for him saving all of our lives at the Baton Death March. Thank you, Colonel, for everything you've done. Thanks, Kelly. Colts, today's quote of the day is the rain brings flowers. And with that, that's officially a wrap in Northside News. Before we go, make sure we are abiding by our school slogan. 
please remember to always do what's right, do your best, and treat others the way you want to be treated. I'm Weston. Have a great day. Go Colts! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Now please join us as a moment of reflection.